Hey everyone and welcome to our Shadowlands Alpha Demon Hunter preview. This one's going to be a bit of a change of pace. Unlike, say, the balanced druid of our last video, the Demon Hunters have not seen revamps, but what they have seen is almost more noteworthy. How do you unprune? that which has always been a bit bare. Indeed, how has the expansion of Unpruning led to, at least for Havoc, less new shiny stuff than, say, Battle for Azeroth brought? And you may say, well, what about the Covenant abilities? And I would say to you, yeah, the Covenant abilities, some of them actually do look pretty cool and pretty fun, but this video is about the base health of the class without borrowed power. The entire problem with WoW class design in the last while has been we've had these really bare base classes, but it's relied on, of course, borrowed power. And that's meant that as we've moved from Axe Pack to Axe Pack, what's happened? Well, we've had very mixed results, let's just say. So that is the core of this video. But first, if you want to help us out, especially what we're doing in this class series and all of that, then you can check out our Patreon. This month has got the Priest Pin pre-order, this epic art set themed after the worlds of fantasy trolls, and of course, something uh, that I think we don't see enough of, cosmic fantasy. All great fun. We'll go from our Game Studios art team to your inbox, and a big thanks to the patrons. They have honestly saved our collective arses. Cheers, and let's get into the video. Let's kick this off with the Havoc Demon Hunter. It sure does illustrate some, I think, missed opportunities. And really, for me, missed opportunity is just the core message of, well, this entire video. And I'm going to start that off with the thing that had most of us clapping, most of us excited. And that was, right, that Immolation Aura would be baselined. I read that and I thought, oh, nice. I, you know, that's the thing I've got to talent into now. This is really good because it now means that my default gameplay is going to have another button and I will have a freed up talent slot that I can put into something else. That was pretty exciting. So imagine my disappointment. I logged in and I moused over Immolation Aura and I just saw, oh, it just does some damage over time. Where's my Fury Generation? And then I go to my Tier 2 talents and I see Burning Hatred, which actually is just adding back the Fury Generation to Immolation Ore. So, yes, technically Immolation Ore was baselined, but if you wanted to do what it does right now, you've got to talent into something anyway. And that just makes me think, why the hell are we even bothering to baseline it? I mean, I, I do sort of understand it gives you a sort of a little newbie version of it that you can use, but in my opinion, right, the Demon Hunter is such a simple spec. I think it's quite a fun one, but it is very simple that it needs more, right? The unpruning makes a lot of sense if you're a class that has been pruned, but the Demon Hunter never really started off having that much. That's really why I think that unpruning in a Demon Hunter context should mean more stuff. So that was a just a really good example of something that was to me, quite disappointing. I would have rather had a new ability or maybe a new passive that recontextualized one of my existing abilities. Then another example of that is, say, something that you might read and think, oh, that's really cool. Demonic Appetite. It now will reduce your I-beam cooldown. Oh, how, how fun. Pick up a soul frag. My I-beam CD's gone down. Just that you then think, oh, wait, I had that in Legion, and I also had that in Battle for Azeroth, of course, via an artifact trait and an Azerite trait, Eyes of Rage, I believe. So that's really a, a bit of a weird thing, because if every expansion is going to give us this picking up soul frags reduces your I-beam cooldown, is that just not something we should baseline? Could we not just baseline Demonic Appetite, free up that talent row, and actually put something new and exciting in? Again, I think you're seeing my point here. Demonic has some rather bad news that's quite sad. It is down to a six second duration according to the tooltip. Now, in game, the buff does last for eight seconds, but that's eight seconds from when you cast Eye Beam, leaving you with a six second duration in meta because of Demonic. Now, in live, you basically have a 10 second buff, but eight usable seconds after the Eye Beam. So that does mean, yeah, you've got two seconds less of of, uh, of meta meta via demonic. Why? I, I mean, are they just making that a little bit weaker to balance it out? I mean, I could understand them doing that, but at the same time, yeah, I, I just don't think it feels as good. So that's, yeah, that's another, another minus for me. 
I do want to cover some positive things about the Havoc Demon Hunter. So there is one really good thing though, and that is what has happened to Dark Slash. So Dark Slash is now called Essence Break, and it's actually a frontal ability. So it will apply that debuff to multiple enemies. And that basically just means that you can now count on that as a part of your playstyle instead of it just being a niche single target thing that realistically is never really picked because of its balance. Now that I think is really good. That could open up way more builds. And you know, I think about maybe just some other like within the talent tree, some other synergies with Essence Break. So yes, Essence Break could actually be the core of another playstyle in the game. And if that was the case, then yeah, that would actually be pretty exciting to me. And that would be a, a shining star of, well, of Havoc changes in this expansion. And then speaking of builds existing, well, Fell Mastery has been buffed in its damage. So then I've got to think, well, would that make momentum a little bit more viable as a playstyle if people wanted to do that? Because certainly, my at least my demon hunter gameplay has felt a, a little bit samey as of late and if the if the momentum build is a little bit more viable perhaps that could open up maybe some fellblade usage certainly fellblade does feel like a it's a cool spell i love having its you know its movement and all of that but it doesn't really fit that well into a bunch of the gameplay. And I suppose that does just lead me to thinking, would this game be a little bit more fun for the Havoc Demon Hunters like myself if, say, Demonic Appetite's um, eye beam uh, cooldown reduction was, you know, baseline, you could have it and Blind Fury with a really good synergy. That would be a pretty cool demonic build that could then work really well with Essence Break, and you could be getting lots of beautiful synergies there. Okay, I know that that might actually just seem like some wish fulfillment that would be a bit OP sounding, maybe. Now, with Fell Mastery, like, if that was to make momentum more viable, or even Biss or something like that in some situations, yeah, a little bit of me would be happy because there would be more build diversity. However, the usability of it is still quite questionable because of, frankly, BS movement. Fell Rush, sure, it doesn't disconnect us as often as it used to. It barely ever happens to me anymore, but that is a frustrating element. And then, well... I think that Ventral Retreat and Fell Rush, they just don't fit into the game's GCD-based combat that well because of all the time that ends up being wasted in just executing the basics of the momentum build, right? I mean, the animation of those two abilities, sometimes it just feels a bit odd in how it works together. Like, it just feels like after I Ventral Retreated, I should be able to Fell Rush in a bit quicker. There's the timings of everything, right? Like, if you've, you know, you Ventral Retreated and then you can Fell Rush, but you Fell Rush a little bit too early, so you overshoot your target. It. And I get that there is a lot of skill in executing that, but it just, in World of Warcraft to me, doesn't really feel that good. And then, you know, the second that you're playing with a little bit of world latency, then that all ends up feeling pretty bad, actually. So, yeah, I would really be down for the fantasy of the momentum playstyle being a viable thing. And I think this is probably a good change if it does make that be more possible. But I still do have just some worries about like outliers and concerns when it comes to actually using day to day the momentum build. I, th I think what I really want to bring up here, what I want to highlight is this feels like a massive missed opportunity. This is the unpruning, but demon hunters were always bare. That, I think, means the demon hunter should get more stuff. And I think that this immolation aura going and being baseline it's not really baseline because Burning Hatred is still taking up a talent slot. So what I would like to see here is actually something that Blizzard did in the Battle for Azeroth expansion. I'd like to see them come up with a new ability or two or three, right? Maybe another baseline one, maybe another one or two for the talents because certainly some of the talents feel pretty redundant for this class. Uh, but no, none of that has really happened. And that does mean that as somebody who mained a Havoc Demon Hunter in Nihilotha, I'm really worried that when I log into this character and I take it into the new expansion, it's going to feel a little bit like, you know, starting Battle for Azeroth, where I just feel like I, I lose some things, my character loses its ratings, its Azerite, and it just ends up feeling a bit less fun. Really, I think this is showing that, it, yeah, it's just, it's a very, it, it is pretty similar it's pretty basic and it's going to be the soul binds that pump it up a little bit, which means that, yeah, we're still relying on borrowed power to actually put a little bit more flavor and fun in our demon hunter. I mean, certainly I wonder what the pace implications of use of losing and furious gaze will be like. And then I've got to wonder, well, will furious gaze just end up being a soul bind? So it'll kind of all feel the same. And we'll just have this weird situation with the borrowed power systems that they seem to be putting a lot of classes into. So yeah, there you go. That is the havoc thoughts 
I did this in a very different style to my Balanced Druid video because, I mean, it still is basically the core, same core spec, right? You, you get it if you've ever played it. This is more just me saying that there's a missed opportunity here. We could have done so much more. And speaking of, well, could have done so much more, let's talk a little bit about the Vengeance Demon Hunter, the tanking spec. So they get Fell Devastation baseline. That's pretty cool. That makes me happy. And then Demonic being brought over here also is really great. There's a little bit of a missed opportunity here though, right? I will say that I-Beam Demonic feels really good because the I-Beam puts you into meta and then meta changes up just a little bit of your ability usage, right? By swapping over your Blade Dance and your Chaos Strike. It sort of changes up the feel and the pacing. It's an exciting high point. But that doesn't really happen with uh, Vengeance as much. Now that said, when you're in meta now, you're, you know, you are slashing off um, extra soul frags. So there is a little bit more resource regeneration there, but it does not feel as satisfying as it does over on its DPS counterpart. And then moving into the talents, there is one thing that I really do like, that I would like to see Blizzard do, I think, a good bit more in Havoc. They actually baked in the Fallout talent into Abyssal Strike. That is a great move. That frees up another talent slot, which of course means more potential, more fun. But unfortunately, the rest of that row right now is just a bit blah. You've got Infernal Armor. That's a new talent but it's just a boring passive with basically no gameplay. And then Charred Flesh, that's kind of a cool DPS window, but Spirit Bomb has been moved into this row, and Spirit Bomb is almost certainly going to still be your default option. And I, I'm pretty sure Blizzard even said in their blog post that they didn't want Spirit Bomb to feel like the default, but I kind of think it still is going to be that. I mean, certainly the other options in that row are not particularly exciting to me from a gameplay perspective. And again, here I'm focusing on the gameplay, not on the, the balance, because it is early, right? So it's just about whether something's fun or not. So I'd say to Blizzard, either baseline Spirit Bomb, because realistically it's kind of been like that for a long time, or maybe give us a new talent option that fills the niche of increasing our DPS that actually does involve some more active gameplay. Then also Fellblade. I mean, I've got to be honest with you, I just don't really see where Fellblade ends up fitting into this into this spec. Certainly when I go with Fracture, I feel like I've got plenty of resources. Yeah, Fellblade, it just seems like there is, they could do more with it here. They could change it up. Maybe a new ability could be created to fill that spot that would maybe fit a little bit better with the design of Vengeance. So there's definitely room for something there. Then if I hop over to say the second to last talent row, it swapped around now. It's now got Void Reaver, um, Soul Barrier and Demonic. Generally, I'd like to go for Demonic because I like the, well, I just, I'd like the swapping in and out of meta. And then the final row, well, that is Last Resort, as it was before, plus Bulk Extraction and Ruinous Bulwark. Now, Bulk Extraction is new. It instantly shatters up to five lesser frags and then consumes them instantly. So basically a little slurp of health. Well, you know, decent slurp of health for you. Then Ruinous Bulwark, well, it combines with Fell Devastation and therefore it combines quite nicely with Demonic. So that's why those roles were split up. But again, I've got to think that... I mean, could that just not be baked into Fell Devastation and then we could get something new in that row? This, I mean, this to me feels a tiny bit like a lesser version of the Immolation Aura situation over in Havoc. Although that said, because it has an overhealing side to it, you can actually then, with this, use Fell Devastation to prepare for incoming damage. So I will give Blizzard that there's actually pretty cool, um, pretty cool gameplay in that. Then also there's something I just wanted to point out. Concentrated Sigils... That is a talent that mostly does something that you can do with an at player macro. If you weren't aware of this, right, you can use at player and at cursor to basically for any ground effect thing, either in one press of the button, instantly place it down wherever your mouse is, so you literally don't need to click, or wherever your player is. So that's how I've been playing with my sigils all the time. It's what I did in Legion. Now, you could argue that the real thing here is the two second increased duration, but certainly it, it doesn't feel like a fantastic, uh, you know, like a fantastic talent. Overall, right, I don't think that the gameplay has really been advanced that much. Fell Devastation baseline is nice, Demonic being there is nice, but with Fell Dev, I mean, that its spot then was kind of replaced by a talent that just buffs it up a bit. I mean, it's good that it's there, I do like it, but I just feel like there could have been a little bit more there. So overall, what I think about this is, you know, Fellblade, I don't really know why it's there, really. It's not used that much, or at least I don't think it's been used that much. I can rarely find that I'm spending the Fury in a satisfying way when I've talented into it, at least running around in the alpha. Yeah, it just feels like a bit of a wasted space for Spirit Bomb. I just wonder, should we not 
baseline it, right? Or maybe give us a fury spender that is, you know, about increasing our damage in a different way in our talents. And then for demonic, I mean, yeah, it's a fine pace of change, but I just think that maybe if Metamorphosis did a little bit more for our abilities like it does on Havoc, it could be a little bit more exciting to use. Now that said, I will also acknowledge that it's a tanking spec, so I don't expect it's like core button mashing rotation to be as exciting as a DPS spec, because obviously as a tank, you've got other concerns, right? There's other stuff filling up your brain, uh, you know, in terms of the goal that you've got. It's more than just make my EP in as large as it possibly could be. But certainly I will say with Vengeance, I feel a little bit of missed opportunity. And with Havoc, I feel a lot of missed opportunity. And as somebody who mained this class and killed Nazoth heroic with it, yeah, I, I can't say I'm particularly excited about these changes. Now, certainly there could be small little things that make spells more fun in the Soulbind system. And yes, we are getting our four new class abilities via the Covenants. Of course, this initial video series, this isn't really about those. This is about the baseline health of our specs, because I think one thing that has damaged the game quite a bit has been this massive reliance on borrowed power. Yet here, there's not really that much interesting happening to the core of these specs, and certainly all the progression of these two specs is going to be happening via a borrowed power system, which I guess just means that when we move to the expansion after Shadowlands, like what nice things that we had in Shadowlands from our Soulbinds and our Covenant abilities, you know, what of that will we just lose and that'll be it, rip? What of that will then go on to our talents so that there's something that we used to have baseline and it's now a talent and we don't feel good about that? You know, it'll just be that cycle again. And that really does worry me. Yeah, so there you go. That's the, that's the Demon Hunter situation. Uh, yeah, I mained Havoc in, in 8.3. And I'll definitely say I don't feel any new excitement for playing this class uh, in, in this expansion. The, the, like, there's stuff in this expansion I'm excited for. So overall, my Shadowlands vibe right now is positive. But certainly I will say... Yeah, Demon Hunter situation disappointed me when I, you know, I looked at the class forums, uh, the feedback forums for the alpha. Again, quite a lot of disappointment. I started poking around and yeah, people are just like, really? Really? You know, the, the druids are getting a bunch of new stuff. Well, okay, less for Feral. Feral seems a bit, uh, but you know, there's classes that are getting a fair amount of new things and a lot more baselining. And it just feels like the Demon Hunters are, are just left behind, right, in a bit of an older era. Certainly, they need more. This one, I think this one actually needs a little bit more work, a bit more thought from Blizz. So there you go, that's my thoughts. Of course, I want to know what yours are, so let me know down below. Thank you for watching this video. Be sure to check out the balance one for another class that I think is in an interesting situation anyway. And uh, yeah, with that, I'll see you next time. <laughs>